Well, what is it you can grow in January? Well, there are certain winter and spring seeds you can grow in January. However, there are also certain summer seeds you must start in January and grow into seedlings to get a head start on your summer garden. Now, there are certain vegetables you can track sow in January as well. And when the conditions are favorable, they will start to grow. And that's exactly what I'm going to cover in this video. My name is Jag and this is Lily. And guess what? We still have kale and Swiss chard growing. Well, this is her way of saying I love you. Right, Lily? Huh? It's a good girl. <laughs> well, we still got Swiss chard and kale growing. And let me tell you what. I thought that I would be planting peas in January. But, but look at this. The peas just dropped from my last planting and they just started to grow on their own in December. Now there are already flowers on these peas and they're already growing peas as well. Isn't that wonderful? Now we've had a really mild winter here. There's already been one night of frost and we've already passed all the way through December and we are going into January. I'm in zone nine here in California, which is really unusual here. It's kind of like a warm winter. I'm hearing it's kind of the same in certain part of the United States and other part of the world as well while certain places are getting much colder. So the weather is becoming very unpredictable. However, we have to adapt to what we are given. Now, all the seeds I'm going to mention in this video that apply to all the zones, I'm going to tell you what you can do in lower zones versus the higher zones as well. But by now, all of my kale and Swiss chard will be fried by frost, but they're doing pretty well and I'll take it. So let's go start those seeds. Well, if you watched my previous video on the test in December, you would already have your trays ready and filled with growing medium, and they're already ready for planting. But in case you don't, let's fill those trays and let's plant those seeds. And there are certain vegetables that are frost resistant and cold hardy that you can actually start indoors and transplant them outside in January, by the end of January, and they'll start growing. And those are kale, peas, Swiss chard, and collard greens. So let's start those seeds first. And the best way to fill your trays is to get a big tote like this and have all of your growing medium in this big tote and then just drop your tray right into the big tote and scoop up all the growing medium into your tray and then use your hands to finally disperse all the growing medium evenly in all the cells. Since the tray is already in the tote, all the excess green medium will grow back into the tote. Now, all of my subscribers already know this part. So if you haven't subscribed and you want to know all of these cool techniques, this is a really good time to subscribe to the channel. Now, I've already had all of these trays filled with the green medium and stacked in December. Now, let me grab one of these and let me put them on heat mat right next to the window and let's plant those seeds. Now, this tray is a little bit dry. So first, we are going to moisten up the green medium. It's really good to have consistent moisture in your growing medium to germinate seeds well. Now I'm making little holes in my cells for the seeds to go. Now these purple peas, they are really decent to have in your garden and they bring out the color in your garden as well. However, the peas inside, they're still green. They're not purple from the inside. I got some cold kale and I got some ruby red Swiss chard. Let me get these peas out. Drop the peas in the holes and then cover with your hands after planting. Do the same with Swiss chard, kale, and collard greens. Now some of the other vegetables you can start in January are cauliflower, broccoli, and cabbage. However, these are very susceptible to pest damage, so I don't really recommend these for beginner gardeners. Now if you're an experienced gardener, you can start all of these in January as well. Now all of these vegetables are winter and cold hardy. They can take some frost and even some light snow as well. However, to germinate, they still need optimal temperatures. They still need 70 degrees Fahrenheit and 21 degrees Celsius to start to germinate and grow into seedlings. And once they're developed into seedlings, that's when you can take the seedlings and plant them outside, even though it's cold outside. Now if you're in zone 10 and above, you really don't get any frost. So you can plant all of these directly in ground in January. For zone eight and nine, you can also plant these directly in your ground in January as well. And if you're expecting frost, Discover your seeds or seedlings with cold frame or clear plastic totes. Now for zone seven and below, you must start these seedlings indoors in January and transplant these seedlings outside in mid-February or end of February when they're about three to four inches tall. Now to protect your plants from frost, you can build cold frames or makeshift greenhouses. Just build a wooden structure and cover with clear shower curtain or clear plastic tablecloth cover. 
Now, besides these winter and spring vegetables, you must also start some summer vegetables as well. And these are tomatoes, eggplants, and peppers, because these vegetables take a long time to develop into seedlings. Tomatoes, eggplants, and peppers can take up to three months from germination to start growing into seedlings that are up to three to four inch tall. So if you're planning to plant your plant plants in plants, 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 then plants. So if you're planning on planting them outside in your garden in April, you must start these seeds in January and February. Now, if you don't have your tomato, eggplants, and pepper seedlings ready by the first week of April, that's when it makes sense to buy these from a nursery. Because if you start them in March or April, it'll be too late for them to start develop fruit. It might even be July or August by the time you start getting tomatoes and peppers, and you might be getting too close to your first frost. So in order to start getting fruit in May and June, you must start these seeds in January and February. Now to grow healthy seedlings, you need three things. You need warmth, light, and humidity. For warmth, I use heat mats. For light, I just place my trees right next to a window, or you can even use grow lights as well. For humidity, just keep your trees watered and moist at all times. You can also use these spinach containers to grow your seedlings as well. Now these create really good humidity for the seeds to germinate, and they're best to grow leafy greens, such as lettuce, kale, and Swiss chard. So if you use these to grow your leafy greens, you will have a really high germination rate. Now don't forget, you can also keep growing microgreens in January as well. Now microgreens take about five to 10 days to grow and sprout only takes about three to four days to grow. These microgreens are packed with nutrients and they go really well in soups, salads, and sandwiches. I have a video on the complete guide on growing microgreens and sprouts as well. And I'll leave a link to these videos in the description of this video. And guess what? You can also take hardwood cuttings and grow your own plants as well. Now I made a separate video on the cuttings you can take in winter and start growing them into plants. And look at these blackberries. They've already started to grow, and I made these plants just about three weeks ago in December. Now, some of these plants you can propagate from cuttings in winter are grapes, blackberries, raspberries, and blueberries. You can just simply take cuttings from these plants, remove all the leaves, and then shave off a little bit at the bottom of the stem, and then plant them right into your potting soil. Press firmly so the entire potting soil is in contact with the stem, water and then they will start to grow in three to four weeks now you can also grow sugarcane from cuttings in winter as well just take a cutting of sugarcane with one node at the bottom and submerge the cutting in the water make sure the top does not go underwater after three weeks the sugarcane cutting will start to develop roots and it will also start to develop a shoot as well which you can plant outside in your garden after the danger of frost is over. Now I cover all of these in detail in the video about the plants you can propagate in winter. So check that out if you're interested. I'll also leave a link to this video in the description. Now for my friends in Southern Hemisphere, watch this video on what you can grow in July because that's what you'll be doing in January. I can never forget my friends in Southern Hemisphere because a few years ago, I visited New Zealand and Australia and I absolutely loved it. Now some of the root vegetables you can directly seed outside in your garden in January are carrots, turnips, beet, and radish. Now there's a really cool way to sow them in your garden for a high germination rate. Top your garden beds with coconut coir. Coconut coir works really well to retain moisture and that's exactly what we need to germinate these with high success rate. Make rows in your soil 12 inches apart and then sow your seeds right into the soil. Cover the seeds and then water very generously and make the soil drenched. And then cover the entire area with cardboard and weigh it down with bricks. Now the cardboard will help to retain moisture in the ground and will help the seeds to germinate. After 10 days, remove the cardboard and you will see the seeds are starting to germinate. This is a really cool way to start germinating your seeds in winter. Now if you're in zone 8 and above, you can just directly seed these root vegetables in your garden and they'll start to grow in January and by the first week of February. However, if you're in zone 7 and below, you'll need some sort of a protection, maybe some cold frames or a makeshift greenhouse to protect your plants from frost and snow for these to germinate. And for that, check out this video on makeshift greenhouses you can build yourself to protect your plants and I'll see you in another video.